Um, what did you like about it? Like, what's up? Like, did you watch it like back in the day when you were a kid? No, no, I I tried to watch it, but I couldn't. It just how it looks. Yeah, I, nobody likes that. that I, I don't know I why. I make it. I love it, dude. Like, I love the big heads. I don't know why, dude. Like, when I was a kid, dude, I had a, a crush on Yumi, on the Japanese girl. I remember that perfectly. Just like you, just like the way that you see, like, uh, Ladybug. I don't know what what, uh, what her real name is, but she's from a French animation as well. Yeah. Ulioko is also French, by the way. I, I don't know if it's the same studio, but it, it's also, a, like, a French animation thingy. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I know I, I like it a lot. Like I, I'm, I've been watching Cold Yoko recently in in YouTube. It's in YouTube there, and also this other show that's called uh, Grossology, something like that. They they both uh, have wives, by the way. Oh so, yeah, that makes them watchable. Uh, what was the other <laughs> show called? Grossology. I don't think that you remember it. Probably not. No. I like don't. Uh, I. I what happened is that I got I got nostalgic for old cartoons that I used to watch when I was a kid, but uh, that were not that popular. That were more obscure than the mainstream. For example, uh, Hey Arnold, and that one was that one was super popular. So not not that kind of cartoons. Or um, what else? Like Johnny Bravo, not not Johnny Bravo, not Dexter, not Powerpuff Girls, like not those things. Yeah. I did like them, but uh, those are a bit too old for my time. I'm a bit too young for that. Yeah, you are you are too much of a zoomer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you like the? I don't know if you ever watched uh, Kim Possible. No. That that was a uh, Disney cartoon. Uh, what else? Uh, which cartoons do you remember, by the way? Just tell me. Like, tell me in titles, and I will try to. Um, because the thing is that Bamse. Swedish. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um. Alphonse Åberg. Uh huh. Or the, the something like that. Alphonse på taket, I think. Um, yeah. Fuck, the other one was called Felix or Jesper. It was about a man and a cat. Uh huh. Another one was called Kuhn or something. It was basically a cow okay. and something else. Okay, you are telling me the titles in Swedish, right? Okay. Yeah, like, because that's I, how I, I remember know them. Uh -huh. Did and you know that the avatar that, that I have right here? Uh -huh. What did you say? Did you know that the avatar that I have right here, the one of uh, uh, Snufkin? Uh, yes, it's yes, Moomin, uh, Moomin Trollen. Uh -huh, Moomin yes. Valley, like that. I that, watched that, shit that is legendary. show as well. That shit is legendary in, in Sweden and in Norway and in freaking Finland and stuff. Yeah. And it's anime, actually, which is weird. Like, it was animated by Japanese yes. people, but it was the, the story itself was made in Finland, I think. It was Anna. made by... Uh, it's, it's called Finland Svensk, which means someone who's, like, Finnish-Swedish, you know, on the border and all uh. that. Because that part okay. that used to belong to Sweden used to belong to, you know, so it's kind of like that part of basically Swedes and Finnish people, like, mixed. It, it mm -hmm. was made with them. And their accent in the Swedish is so good. I love the Finnish-Swedish accent. Or Finland-Svensk. Anyway, it, it, the... I fucking love it. It's so good. Uh-huh. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Snufkin is a really cool character overall. Supposedly, the Finnish language was an inspiration for the Elvish language of Tolkien. Did you know that? That's oh, why it I don't sounds so beautiful. The Elvish language of Tolkien. Oh, no, I don't know. I like it. It's Tolkien. There is like an, only, an, an online uh, dictionary of Elvish. Yeah, like Elvish translator, let's see. Uh -huh, yeah, search for it. The word for the word for God, for example, for in Elvish is Edu. Edu or Aniu. I remember like some words. Uh blue is Luin. Edit is mountain. I know I, I know a little bit of Elvish because I I'm right now uh, trying to make a language myself. Like I'm I'm freaking um, borrowing words from Japanese, from Russian 
and I'll yeah, and so come from you Elvit. Your own language. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, because um, I want to develop an imaginary culture first to let her, I don't know, like to let her inspire more people in the future to make their their own cultures. Because I think that the world, like the right the rise of different types of governments, is going to happen forever. I think. So leaving a book that tells you, you know, a, a whole um, a structure of a government is a good thing, like for every man to make. I think. Because um, it's, it's just like the Plato's Republic, right? Like that book. That wasn't actually Plato's because it, those were... Plato, Plato was only writing Socrates' words. But mm -hmm. I got inspired by that book that, by that book to make my own um, type of state, basically. And that's what I'm making. All right. Um... And yeah, by the way, it doesn't have the most... That sounds pretty interesting, you know, like... I mean, I could never do and that. I, I, I could never do that. I yeah. mean, I'm barely well, it, remembering. It will take me like a lifetime. <laughs> it will probably take me a lifetime for sure. Uh, but uh, what else? Uh, what's important about it is that it doesn't have democracy. It's like it's a freaking kingdom. I, I don't like democracies, to be honest. I think that it's an inefficient type of government. Yeah, I oh, mean, well. I mean, a true democracy is obviously like shared blame and shared, I guess, success. I mean, I mean, I like living in. Well, I, I, I don't consider what we are living in right now as actual democracies, you know. Even though, because I don't think voting actually does very much. Mm -hmm. Um. I feel like it's it's a choice they give us so that we believe that we are part of the decisions. But I mean, all right, you vote for a party and then you don't have any say in what they're actually doing. Yeah, in the Senate, let's say. Yeah. So it's kind of like... Um, Basically, I don't, I, I don't like democracy for, for this argument. Okay, hear me out. Uh, I don't think that you can, that, that the state, I think that the state should be the one that makes the, the great leader happen, right? Like, for example, the Greeks or the Macedonians with Alexander, that he was a, a prince, a young prince and stuff, and mm -hmm. the Spartans tra trained him in military tactics and all that. Then, the, then uh, I believe Aristoteles, Aristotle, he was his tutor, he was his teacher. And he, he got a, a really good formation for leader, pretty much, because he, he got, like, really good diplomacy, really good uh, military tactics, and he was uh, taught uh, science by, by Aristotle. Mm. Uh, and, uh, okay. Okay. And I, I almost sneezed. All right. Okay. <laughs> Keep going. So I think that today, uh, taking uh, rulers from the citizen's body is not as effective as making one from birth, you know what I mean? Yeah, like crafting one from scratch. Exactly, exactly. I don't think that a citizen gets the same formation as a prince, for example. I think that it's inefficient. It's not the best thing that you can get for a leader, ever. Like, you, you need to get, uh, I don't know, either super lucky or, or I don't know, but it's better to make a prince happen. I mean, I do think that in a democracy, I think the average uh, life becomes better. I mean, yes, sure, in like a kingdom and all that. What stops the king from, you know? Yeah, he, I, I know that. I, I know that the argument. Because like a huge what, what, part of the population becomes like destitute. What, you if, know. what if the king is shit, right? That's what you're telling me in short. Yeah, but not like, just, what, what if he sucks? Yeah, but not just shit, but it's also kind of like what stops others from controlling the king because the king is just one person, right? I mean, uh -huh. how is he going to keep, let's say, because if you have a king, you basically have to have nobles as well. Okay, yeah, I agree. Yes. So, what, what I think it's ideal is like have like a. It's called elective monarchy, 
okay, for 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 my freaking culture that that I'm crafting and whatnot mm. that I'm writing about. Okay, so it will be basically it will be like a a group of houses, right? Uh, let's say house two door, house Lancaster, house uh, whatever. Yeah. A, lo a lot of houses that that, that are that are of a, a noble uh, uh, heritage, let's say. Okay, it's it's people who are genetically superior. They don't have to be chats or whatever. Just very healthy, very smart, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Those people have children, um, like uh, kinda about at the same time. They they choose to reproduce themselves on a on a similar on a similar time frame to have the kids. Every single one of them uh, be raised up in the same uh, circle. Mm. They have their 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 own state school. That that state school teaches them how to be a military leader, how to be a diplomat, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All the abilities that a that a ruler needs to have, right? Yes. So after they grow and become young adults, the 21 years old, let's say, they elect who is going to be among them the king. The more the more charismatic, the more the more uh, the, the most um, modest of them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That one, I think, that should be elected um, to be a um, to be a candidate for king, basically. Yeah. Among does. that, those not nobles, and the rest of them get, gets to become a diplomat or a military commander and whatnot. Whatever the hell they they like more. All right. Yeah. It does sound. That's what I, uh, it does sound like um, elector counts, mm -hmm. in which. Um, the, uh, Warhammer fantasy battles had something similar in which uh, there was a bunch of elector counts of different provinces and then mm -hmm. whenever they need to vote and then they vote for who's going to be the em emperor of the empire and then one of the elector yeah. counts become but then what happens okay, if... but with that system I, I can already see a flaw because uh, they, they don't get raised up at the same age right or yeah, not? No. Or am I am I am I wrong? Okay, yeah, you're so right. If, they don't. If, if they don't if, if if they don't grow together as friends, they they maybe learn to hate each other. You know what I mean? And then there's going to be competition between the families. And that's going to be happens, like a, you know, like a, as soon as someone yeah, exactly. that you don't vote exactly. for becomes king. But what? And it, but, especially but if it's the, close, if like sixty forty uh -huh. in the voting. Okay, but uh, also who votes, by the way? The nobles only, right? Uh, the elector counts. The ones... Like in that circle? Yeah. Uh, okay, I agree with that. Be because I, I don't think that a popular vote, like with the population, that the citizenship is uh, that useful for those cases. I don't think that they are smart enough. Uh, I think that Socrates, the, uh, in fact, I'm sure, he hated uh, democracy so much because he says that uh, voting is a skill that you need to have. You need to know policy, you need to know economics, you need to know a lot of things to actually be a true voter. Most people cannot vote smartly. They vote for the most popular candidate. Uh, they go by populism or they, or they go with him because he is uh, pretty or they go with him because he is, I don't know. Yeah, uh, like, I mean, uh, he, he, it, yeah. That, I guess, I mean, that, for that example, makes when people say like, oh, I vote for him for the, for the economy, example. Kind of, well, what do you know about mm -hmm. the economy? I mean. Yeah. yeah. And they, 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 most people don't know how to choose. And let's be honest, they will never know, I think. No. Well, I mean, I barely uh, know as well. That's why I'm, I'm kind of going for the like, pirate part. Because the, um, the yeah, thing that they know want, what... that's something I'm like, you know what, I'm really for. Like, like internet free freedom. internet and all that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. You, you, it's the one that you have uh, the most information for the party that you have the, you know the the, it's in the name, and that's it. And, and you're relying on that. Yeah. And 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 you don't even want them to win uh, like all the votes. You just want them to get into the senate and and do whatever like pass a more uh, freer internet laws, which I agree with. Yeah, I mean, if they got in, uh, they they probably would not be able to pass it. Because, I mean, it has to go through all, all others. But at least the thought will get into the population. And when they start seeing this party and start 
experience it because when they get in and people are like, oh, they actually have a chance. Because uh-huh. I, I've heard a lot of people that I've talked to, they're like, oh, I like the party, you know, I like their ideas of free internet, less spying of the government, and, you know, legalize all drugs, legalize everything, you know, that doesn't hurt other people. That's, you know, like, why shouldn't someone, if they want, for example, in mm-hmm. Sweden, uh, if you smoke marijuana, the punishment mm-hmm. is way, you can get like eight years. But if you rape yep. someone, you might get two years. <laughs> it's fucking bonkers. Yeah, so it's kind of, why is that even illegal to begin with? Why is it legal for someone to grow their own plant, smoke it? Because what I that... mean, honestly, I'm not for drug myself, but it depends on the culture. That's why I, I that's my stance on it. For example, in the USA, yeah, legalize uh, most drugs, to be honest, because they are already like that, you know. But in Japan, for example, where that shit, like almost nobody does pot and shit like that. They only drink and whatnot, like the legal drugs, yeah, drink and smoke. Uh, I I will I will never legalize uh, marijuana in a place like Japan ever. I think that it's incompa- incompatible with the culture. I think it should be just legal, and then if people want to do it, even in those cultures, go for it. The thing is about here in Sweden is that it is super, like, widespread. All these drugs, mm-hmm. I mean, um, alcoholism, a bunch of opioids, um, marijuana. The problem with Sweden at the moment, with the marijuana thing, is that there's no steady it's supply big. in Sweden consumes more oh, okay. than they produce. Okay, okay. So the prices are super That's high, cheap. and people are, you know, taking shortcuts. So they don't get clean drugs. It just makes it even worse for them. Mm, that is true. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's kind so, of like... Just so, do, you're saying, you're, uh, so you're telling me there is, a, there is actually a stoner culture in Sweden, and you will prefer them to... Uh, contribute to it to the economy instead of uh, taking away instead from of the them, gangs. Basically, example. Yeah, because I mean the gangs in Sweden, all the gangs, uh, the Muslim gangs, the Slavic, the bike, the new Nazi biker gangs exist. Yeah, the whole shit about them caring about oh we care about white people, we care about Islam, we care about blah blah blah. It's all bullshit. Because yeah, they, they, are, they are selling drugs. All <laughs> selling drugs. And they're mostly yeah. drugs to who? Their own community, right? Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of like, and they are do- taking these shortcuts that just hurt their own community. So just legalize it. You do it like you've done with alcohol. Mm-hmm. Because, um, you make like uh, industries and whatnot. Yeah, but not only that, because here in, in, in Sweden, um, Sweden makes a fuck ton of income because in, if you want to buy alcohol, you have to go through something called Systembolaget. So basically, the government mm-hmm. owns the liquor stores here in Sweden. You're not recording all of this, right? Uh, I am. Ah, okay, good. If I will upload it, who knows, but I am recording it. Okay, nice. Um, the government owns the liquor stores. And yeah. They're making a fuck ton of, you know, income from it. Next money. then goes into the healthcare system, blah, blah, blah. And do the same thing for the, for the drugs. Do it that, oh, the income that they make from the drugs goes into the it's healthcare taxed. system. Uh-huh. You can make it for profit. And then the profit goes into, uh, you know, the social programs that we like here in Sweden. You're making me reconsider my, my stance on drugs because of that argument, actually. Because the fact that you can now tax illegal substances, substances that, that were once illegal, that is really good for the state. Really, really fucking good. Yeah, because that money is now not going anywhere, you know? It's going to the, yeah, it's, it's inside the black the state. market. Yeah. That then, what are the black market doing? They're buying a bunch of guns that then make and they're committing crimes. They're like fucking murders every fucking day here in Sweden at the moment. 
and it's mostly yeah. just gang members killing each other. Uh, it's it's mm -hmm. very rare where a non-gang member gets killed. So overall, it's actually pretty safe here in Sweden still. But what does that do? Mm -hmm. Oh, we now need more cops. Mm -hmm. Which then increases, you know, because hey man, the cops are paid by the taxpayers. It, uh, if it increases the, 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 cops, the cost of the state. Yeah, if we want to pay more cops, we have to cut a few things. It generates more debt yeah. for the state, basically. Okay. So, yeah. Like, that was a, a reasoning they used, because a road here has been in disrepair quite a lot. And they haven't fixed it. They are starting to fix it now, but they should have done it like 10 years ago. And the reasoning uh -huh. for this was... Uh, we, we cut down the budget on keeping, you know, the roads good and all that to combat yeah. criminality and all that shit. Uh -huh. It's like, that's fucking retarded because what you guys also did was you closed down um, the closest police station because you did not want to antagonize criminals. Also, what if the cops need to use that road? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> maybe there's a reason why it takes the cops a minimum, even though the police station, even though they close down one, the closest police station is like 45, 30 to 45 minutes away. But it takes the cops between 14 to 24 hours to get here. Uh-huh. So, my conspiracy is that this is all planned. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, fuck these places. If the crime okay, happens, they, 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 we're not going to go there. We're going to make it so that the criminals know. It's like, that... it's like voter suppression, right? <laughs> like like they are using them, the, the conflict as, as to um, eliminate some of the opposition. That's, that's what you think? Yeah, but not also that, but also to kind of like funnel the criminals to a place because they're like, oh, they know that the the criminals will know, ah, if we commit crimes here, the police are not going to get here uh -huh. fast. So it's safe to commit crimes. Uh -huh. And then they know, ah, you know what? All the crime is happening there. So these nicer areas with the people, are you know. The politicians, the, sen the senators and whatnot, they are safe. Yeah, yeah all that is kind of like, yeah, it's it's stupid. And also very weird that the bank that was very close, the bank is no longer there, but it was a bank very, very close in. And nothing ever happened to it. Yeah, because as soon as yeah. something, even if they got close to the bank, even if they weren't planning on doing anything, there was always police there immediately in like a couple seconds. So, well, obviously, I mean, yeah, they got money. Yeah, so I mean... I'm super anti-police here in Sweden uh, because they're incompetent here in Sweden and they're just another mm -hmm. gang. Well, I like the police because, you know, uh, I, I, I wouldn't like anarchy and all that shit. Like, I, I like civilization, civilized, basically. I like having somebody to protect you from criminals, but, um, but yeah, I agree with in 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 inefficient one, in inefficient policemen, um, corrupt policemen, and all that. Like, yeah, it sucks. Yeah, I, mean, I agree. My stance would have been different like ten plus years ago, because but as there have been more crime and they have got way and way more police, how have they gotten so much way more police? Well, they have cut the standards. They are letting people that before probably wouldn't have fin uh, you know passed now they're police because they just sometimes want to like, uh, actually Andreas sometimes when uh, like uh, gangs get very organized and they become like a mafia and whatnot uh, they actually get into politics themselves and that's really fucking dangerous when, when that happens mm -hmm. because because they, they they make it legal basically uh, you have that kind of crime, you know, going into areas. So maybe that's happening. Who knows? Uh, maybe. Uh, I don't think it's at that point yet here in Sweden. 
I do think it's more along the lines of uh, Sweden is a very special case when it comes to politics, I think. Because I'm trying mm-hmm. to think. No, yeah, it is. There isn't really a country similar to Sweden when it comes to this, because Sweden, I mean, a lot of people think that Sweden no. is like a super lefty, you know. And the videos yeah, that you see online yeah. are all from. But that's the that's the American very same standard. Place. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, uh-huh. most people when they see that they're like, "Oh, that is like Uppsala," and those are like the super super rich places, like where a month a month's rent in those places are like a whole year where I live. Uh huh. So. Yeah. yeah, because fuck, I think I did. Because very recently, where I live, they actually had like a gay pride thing. <laughs> yeah. But I was all for it because I think the area I live in needs that stuff. Uh, because, I mean, when the, here in Sweden, when they do all this gay pride, like, oh yeah, we're going to stand up against anti-gayness you know like they Uh only do it in the like super rich areas where guess what no one is anti-gay everyone is pro so them trying to be like oh we're so brave being openly gay but we're not going to be openly gay in the areas where 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 there are the muslim gangs and whatnot yeah 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 i agree because like 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 super islamists are super anti-gay actually so and they doing that shit in their uh, controlled areas, like that. That is honestly brave. Yeah, they can so, get killed in there. Yeah. So when I saw that, I was like, "That's good." Those very few people that were there, they are actually brave. Um, uh, because it is a bit sad as well. Because I mean, uh, when I was at school here, it has actually become more anti-gay in this area than it used to be. Yeah. Mm. But that was someone who... can you who... tell that, though? Huh? Who can you tell that, though? Who can you tell that it, that, that, that it has become more that way? Uh, there's less people who are open, you know? Just oh, walking okay. around. It's way less. And... You can see, you know, like... Um, when you walk sometimes people just got kind of like saying like ah the, the guy was fucking faggot this and this yeah yeah and also some people who would used to be like you could really tell they were gay and they were open about it. now they're like uh, I'm, I'm gonna hide a little bit yeah because I might get fucking beat, beat up or fucking killed and shit yeah because Especially I mean by, by, the, by, the, by the Muslim gang Exactly, you know, because it hey, man, if they just walk around, you you kind of like, all right, well, that is a gang right there, so I'm not going to be open myself, because, I mean, even if in case, they might not actually do something, because, I mean, what are the mm-hmm. actual chances, even if they saw someone who was openly gay, what are the chances of them actually going, like, up in the mid, in the open, just beating that person up? Probably not okay, high. So- it's probably what that not shows high. you. You're telling me that overall, what that shows you is that the the area is is probably a little bit safer because gay people are coming out, right? That's what you're you're telling me, basically. Yeah. Like in essence, so it like, is like, starting. Like, like, that's why I was happy because it's starting to go back to what it used to be. Okay, I see. Because back then, so hey man, it, when people are allowed to be open and all that stuff, the area was means better. That there is it probably means that there is less violence, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I can see the correlation there. So. Yeah, and I mean. And then also, it, I guess this complete like fear that people have, even if in case something wouldn't have happened, people just having this fear. I think it makes people more dangerous 
If you know what I mean? If people have like constant paranoia of something is going to happen, they might like act out in situations uh, where For example, with the coronavirus, actually. It, had, it has happened like around the world that some people, fucking stupid ass people, burn hospitals or fucking uh, kill uh, medical professionals because of that shit and stuff. Because they think that they have the virus. And they're like, oh, they are going to fucking... Uh, infect us with, with mm-hmm. that shit so let's let's fucking kill them because of that or, or burn their fucking uh base of operations where those people are infected with that so hospitals and stuff like that and they, and they fucking make a mess yeah okay yeah no yeah for sure and in, in situations of uh, distress uh, people become stupid as well they, they become savages they show their their true nature <laughs> yeah, kind of I, like uh, i don't want to see humanity's true nature okay so um i want to pivot away uh, from this topic of it uh did you already fix fix the mountain blade can you fix it uh, i did uh, what's it called i verified the game integrity and it said it downloaded one file so we're gonna see if it works now 